think I fixed my computer today, so I am a little happier. I, I talked to Apple earlier and they helped me restart my system. I did some clean outs, I updated my software. So, yay. One less thing to worry about. And the, one of the first things I wanted to check out on my list from yesterday was Summer Camp Island. And I did. I watched a couple episodes. I haven't gotten a chance to finish the season yet. It was premiering on a loop all weekend. So that's really cool. Cartoon Network's done that before with the Iron Giant. They used to have all day marathons of that. So I guess in the internet age, a, a weekend loop is the equivalent of that. Which is a really cool and interesting way of distribu distributing it. You know, they're their way of maybe uh, competing with Netflix. I think it's nice. It's just a really likable show. It's the total opposite of who I am as a person and that fascinates me because I am, my favorite types of things are light on the surface, dark and cynical underneath. I like that combination a lot. Labyrinth is like that. And the Wizard of Oz is like that. I, I think I, I like cynicism a lot. A billion Mandy is, is delightful that way. Whereas I don't like, I don't like bleak. I don't like super sugary. This is on the very sugary end of things. This is very light up top, light underneath. But it's, it is fascinating because I am, I'm somebody who's very very intense, and obsessive, and cynical and over the top and experience emotions very very intensely whether that's positive or negative this show is not that in the slightest it's very sweet it's feels like it was made by a very shy person someone who's shy quiet awkward minding their own business maybe a wallflower maybe not but this seems like the kind of person that would be scared by me and someone who requires a very very gentle touch and I'm, I feel like I'm learning about a certain group of people every time I watch it because the main character Oscar it's uh, he's someone who's never been away from home before on the summer camp island where anything goes uh, the main the the camp counselors are witches. One of them's really mean, one of them's kind of nice. They're, but they're major antagonists. I'm, I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe they're, I, maybe they're gonna do something with that. I have no idea. I'm, I'm excited to find out. I kind of want to learn more about them because they, it's, everyone else is so kind and so pleasant and works together, is very charming. But then you have the, the head counselor Susie, who's who's arrogant and mean, it was, it was voiced by the creator, by the way, Julia Pot. So that's interesting. She's got a very good, very distinct, strong voice. It matches the design very well. Oh, and here's something I've noticed. This is the and this is the latest in a line of pink pink antagonists on Cartoon Network. For example, Rose Quartz, Pink Diamond pink antagonist. Uh, Eliza from Craig of the Creek, a pink-haired antagonist. And now Susie. I wonder if it, it... I'm wondering if it was a coincidence or if some pink-haired individual really hurt somebody at Cartoon Network. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> it's just, it's an odd trend I've noticed. Kind of like the dance parties thing. This thing, this does... There are dance parties in this too. I've mentioned that before. It's a, it's interesting what what you see in a lot of stuff. But it doesn't make it's not bad or anything. It's nice. I think it's something I can. I'm very intrigued by it. I'm very. I'm never bored when I watch it. I'm always curious. Okay, what's gonna happen? There's always something that can happen. One my favorite episode so far is when Oscar and the other kids discover that they can earn merit badges. The counselors are trying to keep this from them because they want the prizes for themselves. But they, so, but the kids are trying to earn as many badges as they can. You can get to the, the lowest prize of an extra dessert, which is pudding. Pudding's a really funny word. 
and then or scalp massages from a yeti because yetis have a very gentle touch or the ultimate prize is <laughs> going to a, a water park with a chocolate money slide <laughs> sounds awesome and you have a very good montage it's a you can earn badges for anything oh you can earn badges for hurdling which what i would have gotten that that's i did that in high school so yay I like all the different badges you can earn. It was very creative. And the camp counselor's office, you're trying to keep it from them, but the kids prevail. You mean you get, oh, and it's kind of cool to see how Oscar starts out as someone who's very shy, does not want to leave home, but he gets used to it very quickly and learns to give it a chance. He's someone who probably would, really needs to be pushed out of his shell. And I can see I could see a very specific kind of audience relating to that. His best friend is hedge a hedgehog named Hedgehog, the, who's very much the voice of reason. And then you get the other kids at camp. I haven't really learned too much about them. I don't think I know their names yet. But hey, there's still plenty more episodes to go. You get all... There's a lot of focus on this world. I think the star of the show, besides Oscar, is this world, which is big in animation. So there's in infinite possibilities but there's always something i think the the worst thing that can happen is someone is mildly rude it's it is a little jarring in this kind of environment but it does i think it's also good to see hey look not everything is not everyone's going to be sugary and sweet there are going to be jerks there are going to be jerks in who just happen to be in charge or who just happen to have a ton of status and I do like to, I'm always curious as to why someone's a jerk, but sometimes you're never, you're just not going to know. You can meet, en and once you meet enough people, you can generally make an educated guess as to what someone's deal may be. And that, that's all I've got to say about it. I think they have a ton of previews on Cartoon Network's YouTube channel. So it is worth checking out. I always... Even just to see what's out there, what's what's coming out. Because it's part of a very relaxing, kind show trend on Cartoon Network. At least for what I've seen. It's it's different, but I think in this, in this big crazy world, especially for our youth, I think it is welcome. 